Welcome back, everybody, to Imperial Galactic Survival on Alpha. Uh, what is it? Alpha 11.5.3. I'm an old guy gaming. This is the Project Eden series. It is also the Dead is Dead series, and I am still alive. All right, so as you can see, I've been working on uh, burrowing out the, the hangar entrance, the, the ceiling hangar entrance, and we're pretty close to, uh, you know, to down in the stone here. So I thought I'd bring you back at this point, just kind of give you an update on what's going on. Uh, one of the things that I'm, I want to do, though, is I'm not really planning on continuing the concrete blocks uh, below the stone uh, or, or to line the stone. Uh, so as we continue to drill here, uh, we need to be a lot more, we need to be more careful because I want the walls to be, you know, relatively, re relatively straight uh, or smooth as we continue to cut. So I wasn't too terribly careful with that as I cut through the dirt. Um, of course, you guys can't see that because I've put the blocks down now. Uh, I also only put armored concrete for the first five blocks down and then the switch to normal concrete, which we might upgrade later or we might not. I figured, you know, most of the time the hangar doors are going to have this opening uh, enclosed anyways. Uh, so I figured, you know, if any enemy fire did happen to get through while we were coming in or going out, it most likely would only hit on the upper blocks anyway. So we might just end up leaving, you know, the, the normal concrete here, at least for the time being. Uh, let's see, I am, uh, I'm getting real, kind of low on resources, though. And so we're going to have to probably uh, take a sidestep from this project and, uh, you know, go get some resources. The thing is, is I kind of wanted to get this done so we had a safe place to park, um, you know, the stingray. So we've got basically this much more to cut down. Uh, before we break through into the hangar down below. Um, so that's, I don't know, I'm thinking that's probably one, two, three, four, four to six more passes, just depending upon, you know, how deep uh, we cut down. But uh, one of the problems that I'm running into is that I am uh, getting low on fuel. And we don't uh, we don't have any, any uh, solar power set up for this base yet, so I'm completely reliant, relying upon just Promethium you know, to keep the base fueled. And, um, you know, uh, solar power is definitely in the works. Uh, probably something I should work on next after, you know, we get the ships secured. But in the meanwhile, you know, we're still relying on the fuel. So our fuel level has gone down because I've used a lot of that just to keep the miner running, you know, in order to, uh, you know, do all this digging that we've done. So we need to get uh, more Promethium. Uh, I think we're pretty low on... What else are we low on? Uh, we're kind of low on iron. We got plenty of wood. We have, um, we're very low on Neo. We need Neo Dimming. We got a decent supply of Sath right there. And, and in fact, I think the moon, uh, I think we cleaned all the Sathium out on the moon. So we should actually get Sathium meteorites. Um, but we're sh short on Neo. Uh, and we need Neo for, what the hell? Why is that in there? That needs to go into fridge input. Who did that? I did, of course. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's put those in there too, even they don't necessarily need to go in there. So yeah, we need, uh, we're pretty low on, uh, on, relatively low on iron. Copper, mm, copper's not too bad. Silicon, mm, you know, not, we, we don't really have an abundance of anything at this point. Um, fair amount of cobalt ingots right there. So yeah, we, we're going to need to, uh, we're going to need to go get some resources. And I still have not gone back to Vardom yet, you know, to get the, the uh, deconstructor, which is also on the to-do list. Uh, I've been kind of busy in real life uh, with the holidays here and everything. And uh, m my wife and I went shopping all day yesterday, so I didn't actually get any recording done at all. Um, you know, and so it's going to be busy around the holidays. I'm not likely to be able to release a video every day, but, you know, I'll, I'll certainly do my best to, uh, you know, to keep, keep them cranking out. It's just my, you know, probably not going to be daily, especially over the holidays. Uh, but anyway, so let's see. What should we do here? I think... I think what I'm going to do is... How's our next attack looking, too, by the way? That is... Oh, it says it's now. Well, not now now, but anytime. Any, any, it could happen anytime. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but every single time I log into the game, it sends a few drones after me. And, of course, you know, they get their ass handed to them. But uh, it's just kind of funny how th that works <laughs> every time I log in. So... Anyway, okay, so let's see. We gotta, we need to get promethium. We need to get iron. We need to get copper. Not well, copper's not so much. Silicon we could use. So I'm thinking, guys, we need to take a trip to the moon. Oh, and we need, um, we need pentaxa too, so that I can actually warp back to Vardom to get that, 
that deconstructor. So, um, what I guess one thing I could do is I could keep cutting until we run out of the next tank of fuel, which we might have enough to actually get, you know, get all the way down. Um, so I think I'll do that, but as soon as this guy runs out of fuel or, or we break through, um, then we're going to stop doing this and we're going to go uh, gather some, some resources and maybe, you know, take a trip to the moon. Um, so I think that's what the plan is. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, show you some of the rest of this cut. Uh, I'll time lapse it, of course, but I'm, I'm probably not going to show you the whole thing. And then when I come back uh, from the time lapse, we will um, we'll, we'll, we'll start going to gather some resources. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. Damn it! I said to myself, "Self, you probably should just use the hand drill to trim that last piece, or you're going to put a big divot in the wall." <laughs> and I didn't listen. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, anyway, as you guys can see now, we are just on a, like a little bit of a thin shell before we break through. So the rest of this, I'm going to have to uh, use the hand drill for. Uh, so let's kind of fill this back up a little bit. Would have been better for me to do this in the daytime so I could see better, but it is what it is, I guess. I'm not, and I'm not worried about, you know, the the rock wall here being perfectly straight. I just didn't want huge divots in it, though, either, you know, so. A um, little bit more there. We could, I suppose we could try the flattener tool on it if we really wanted to get fancy schmancy. I don't know, though, that flattener tool is kind of kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, let's, here, let's just see what it does. I'm probably going to screw this up. Okay, flattening. Oh, jeez. Nope. Yeah, that dug a huge hole in there. I'm not messing with that. I mean, if I held it out at the right angle, I guess. Gotta get this close. Nah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna screw it up even more. <laughs> Let's not mess with it. Never been a big fan of the flattening tool. It's just really weird to work with. I'll just fill that in. <clears throat> okay, so any place that we have, you know, like major major divots want to kind of fill those in that actually needs to probably be trimmed more there I'd say still could put a little bit more in here it's like a caulking let's pop a little bit in there maybe a squirt up there too this wall looks fairly decent along through here. Okay, well, um, can I get all the way up there with my drone from down below? It looks like I can, because I can go all the way down from up here. So, all right, let's go ahead and punch on through with the drill, and then the rest of this will have to be, like I said, we'll have to do it by hand.
I wonder if it'll let me, how much of this it'll actually let me continue to move before it drops me down. It's always better to use the hover vessel if you can because it just moves more, removes more material quick, more quickly. I, well, I think it does anyway. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really com compared the two. I'm just assuming that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, we got a lot more done than I thought we were going to. Okay. So let's just stand right about in the center here. Did I just hear a spider? One of you guys suggested that I put some sentry guns up to take care of the spiders, which I, which is a good suggestion, and I am going to actually do that. Just haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, so this is that tunnel there. Okay, I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha. you. All right, well let's um, let's get the rest of this carved away here. Um, yeah, we want resource drill, and we want our drone to be right at about zero ish for the angle so I'm trying to keep my mouse st as steady as possible We've got a little bit more we got to carve off right here Yeah, that went in a little further than I would have liked it to, but I don't think we're going to get this perfect. The only way we're going to get it perfect is if we actually line up with blocks all the way down, which I don't know. I might actually do. I'm not going to do it immediately, but maybe a little bit later on. Okay, I think this is a this is a good start. However, uh, for us, and it should be adequate now for us to be able to put the uh, get the get the the what what you gonna call it? Whatever that thing is that I fly around the stingray uh, in here. So, oh, we completely ran out of fuel. Wow, that was good timing, wasn't it? Let's go here to the base and here to the camel mina. And it's got its own... Yeah, I'm going to keep that in there, though. Let's go to general... Uh, or overflow. No, not overflow. General storage. Uh, I'm going to throw a stack of, uh, of bio in there. I want to save a little bit of biofuel, though, for the chainsaw. Okay, cool. So let's just... Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about my turning too. It is so bad. Maybe we, we might have to put an RCS back on here because there's not really any place for me to put a thruster. Oh, you know what I could we could try and do? We could try and put the thrusters like all the way on the on the end. That might actually help it quite a bit. That might actually help it quite a bit. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Not gonna do it right now. So let's just park you right over here for now, I suppose. And then we're going to go, uh, let's put the bay doors on first, and then we're going to go uh, get the stingray and bring her on inside. So let's see, we need to connect, or we need to go back to base and grab the two doors there. And we're working with the 13 by 7. And I need to flip 
that this way, right? Yeah. Okay. And then same thing here. Flip that guy around and plop it in place. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. It's quite a ways up there, isn't it? Lots of carving, man. We've done lots of carving. But that should uh, be a nice little shelter for our ships. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh, I just kind of built this little temporary ramp. I'll probably just put elevator in, though, later. There's So there's still a lot more work to be done down here. Um, but I got it, you know, oh, shit. We got it to a point where it's serviceable now. Hurry, 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 hurry. Up in the air, up in the air. Okay, where's everybody coming from? Coming from the northwest. We'll just kind of sit back and watch the fireworks show here. And if need be, we'll contribute. Okay, there's the there's the troop transport. The drones are getting spanked, major spanked. I don't know. Did we hit him? We hit him that time. Oh, he went down right when I fired. <laughs> okay, so our towers are taking a, a couple of hits. So he's uh, he's all, like, going in on us, but our mini guns are, are pounding him. There we go. So, yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, this tower here was taking some hits, so we're going to have to make sure it gets repaired when this is all said and done. I don't know if anything else took any hits, though. Do we got ground troops down there? Is that... How come we haven't gotten the message? It says it's all clear. No, we, we couldn't possibly have ground troops, because that thing blew up before it landed. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know, man. Not sure what's going on with that. Let's see if this actually dropped anything good this time. Been giving us crap lately. Blazer upgrade kit. Okay. Well. There's worse things than that, I guess. We never... We, did we get the message and I just didn't notice it? I don't know. There's definitely no more enemies coming, so... Okay. Well, let's go ahead and... Park our ship. The inaugural parking in the hangar. That's awesome. And we have plenty of room, you know, to to have a few ships down here. We'll just have to have parking spots for them. But um, I'm gonna, I am planning on doing an actual floor, which means we we're gonna need to go deeper, probably, um, or you know, carve more off the ceiling, I guess. It'd be easier to just carve them off the floor. The only problem with that, though, and I mentioned this before, is that uh, if we do that, we're going to... Uh, it's just going to take that much longer to get back up to the, where the actual base is. Not that that's a huge deal, but... That looks pretty damn good. I like that. I like that. All right, so it's serviceable now. 
like I said, a lot more work to do, but uh, we can now safely park our ship and not worry about it getting shot up. That's a damn fine feeling. Alrighty, so let's see, how's our time looking? Um, I think we have a little more time. Depends upon how much of the, the dig I cut out, because I recorded the whole thing. But I'm gonna, you know, I'll cut a lot of that a lot of that out in editing and use some time lapse. So I think I think I'm guessing here, but I think we have a little bit more time before the episode is finished. So let's see. We need to pick the garden. How are we doing on making rations? We've got 22. Oh, look at that. That's such an amazing sight. We're going to put the full stack in there and uh, have it keep making more. Uh, but to do that, we've got to connect to the input. Uh, excuse me. And go pick all these. So let's do that really quick. Okay. Crank out some more rations for us. Awesome. 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 All right, guys. Well, um, what should we do? I guess I'm thinking we hop in the the Stingray and go to the moon and get some more Pentacted so that we can go back to Vardom and get our Deconstructor. How are we doing on fuel here? 93%. So let's get that topped off. Also, what does it say about the attack? Okay, so I guess the attack is over. I... Maybe maybe it said that and I just missed it in the heat of battle. I'm not sure. I just don't remember seeing it. Uh, okay, so let's go here to fuel. And we want to just pop that off. And yeah, we need Promethium. Um, to bring in the warp shuttle, which is kind of what we're looking at next here, we need 892 Sathium ingots. Um... Okay, well, we do have 550 ore, so let's let's do this. Let's do this. That's in the input, right? Uh, 62. I want to keep 50 raw sathium. So let's just put that in the overflow. Okay, and then we're going to queue up the rest rest of these as, you know, see if we can actually, I don't think we'll be able to get a full stack of that, but we'll see how many we can get. All right, cool. Well, let's um let's head on up to the moon then in the Stingray and see if we can get some Pentaxid. And we might come across another Sathium meteorite, though those are kind of a pain in the butt to, to mine by hand. I've got six drill charges. Uh, let's make a a couple more of those let's make a couple more of those so output count of five yeah we'll just make five more so that way we have plenty of those with us we have two full stacks of o2 there and um general storage let's just add a third one since we are going to the moon it's a little hard to breathe up there in case you guys didn't know that. And I think I want to say, okay, so you're working on the Sathium. Let's queue up some, uh, do I want armored, yeah, yeah, I think I do. Let's queue up some armored concrete blocks because uh, we need to start working on some more building uh, on the tower itself, but we're not going to do that, of course, in this episode. All right, I think we're ready to go. Did we grab the... The charges out of here. Shower enough. Shower enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this will this will be a nice little hangar down here. We'll get her all fixed up, painted up, with parking spots and stuff like that. Uh, how is our fuel situation in this ship? Stingray. We've got three hundred and three. Uh, ammunition, yeah, we got, we don't have a ton of ammo, but we're doing okay on it. And we got some extra O2 in here too, okay. So let's put this stuff in a bridge. And, am I missing, 
forgetting anything? Probably. Oh, you know what? That's right. I gotta. Re we gotta repair that uh, the tower. I think it was this one over here that took a hit. It definitely took some hits, didn't it? And this one did too. Nothing super major, but just very little, actually. That one took a little bit of damage, a little bit of splash damage, probably. That one's good. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Up, up, and away. Feels like we've been on this planet for a long time. We have actually been on this planet for a long time. I've been up in space for a while. Okay, so let's see here. We need to go to... No, not there. We need to go... Which moon is it that we went to last time? Tainori, uh, or Tainori 1 or Tainori 2. I don't remember. Uh, okay, I guess we do have to go into here. Okay, so that's a barren mood with promethium and pentaxid and copper. And this is silicon, cobalt, promethium, and pentaxid. I thought... Hmm. I thought one of these moons had had the uh, sathium on it. Maybe that was one of Vardum's moons. Okay. Um, well, I guess kind of doesn't matter which one we go to then. Have I even been on the moons in this system? I think I have. Can't remember. Can't remember. They must both be on the other side of the planet. Right? I'm not seeing them anywhere else. Okay, there's one off that direction. not good. Glad that thing didn't shoot at me. Oh, pay attention to where you're going. That thing's going to shoot at me. <laughs> I just dropped like a rock when I came in. Oh, it's shooting at us. Yeah, evasive action. Okay. All right, so we've got to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so we have um, two Prometheums and two Pentaxids. And I have not been to this moon yet once, because it was, it was obviously it was the other moon. 
uh, that we went to if we went to one in this system at all which again I just can't remember for sure I'm pretty sure that we did go once but I don't remember exactly when that was button there okay so let's see here we need to find we need to find Promethium and we need to find Pentaxit so let's uh, just kind of start cruising this way we got something on the radar up here is that a Xerox uh, what the hell is that oh it's crash capital vessel okay that could have some nice resources for us to, to loot. There's an iron deposit. Yeah, look at all the thrusters on that sucker. There's some nice juicy stuff there for us. Uh, but we need to we need to get the deconstructor first from Vardom so that we can actually do something with those materials that we can get from it. Make sure there's no no drones in the nearby vicinity. Okay, a little bit of loot there. Let's go grab this Pentaxed over here. What I might end up having to do if we can't find a Pentaxed deposit that we can easily get to is I might end up just picking them by hand and I'll do that off camera of course okay well let's not do anything with this now we know that it's here uh, and we will definitely be coming back to salvage that at some point in the very near future okay we have something else up this direction hit the pole and it's going to flip on us. Another iron deposit. Okay, so how many... Okay, that's both of them. Alright, they're both in easy to get to places, so that's good. Uh, that's a medium deposit too, so that we should be able to pull a decent amount of ore out of that thing. This one's going to hit the pole and flip on us, too. You son of a... Alright, let's aim for these two here. Frickin' Xerax territory. Copper deposit, okay. We're not in too bad a shape with copper. Uh, looks like there's... Is that another wreck or something over there? Okay, let's go see what this is. It looks like it's another... Probably another wreck. Or, no, that's actually probably a POI, isn't it? Oh, shit, yep. It's a recon base that's shooting at us. We don't like that. Evasive action. Okay, let's go see what's over here. Very dark. Alright, we got... Uh, oh, that's where we, we came in at, isn't it? Okay, let's go... This way and we'll go around and then start kind of heading towards the south a little bit Polaris friendly territory 
We are in good with them. I think we're even honored with them now. We should look and see. Um, we should look at the quest for those. Let's do wildlife cam. Oh, uh, no, we're just friendly with them. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do wildlife cam. Plus, we get, you know, money, too, so it's always worth doing. Su such an easy quest to do. Easy cheesy. Okay, something's up here. Come on, Pentaxid. We need a Pentaxid and a Prometheum. Easy to get to. That's what we need. need magnesium but let's go down there and get the credit for the quest and pop another drone whilst we're at it Silicon. You know, we are kind of low on silicon, but I'm going to hold off on that because I want to save our capacity, another silicon, uh, for the Prometheum and the Pentaxid. How, how did we discover one of those? Is it Was it by a, an enemy base? Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay, here. Yeah, let's go back over there. Uh, waypoint. Remove on approach. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, you know what? We are out of time. Actually, we've probably gone way over. Um, so, what I'm going to do is uh, just stay here on the moon and get all the rest of the deposits uncovered. And then I'm going to bring back as much pentaxid and promethium as I can carry even if that means maybe a couple of trips. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to Vardom. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to head back to Vardom, and I'm going to get the deconstructor, bring it back, and then after that, we'll kind of, we'll have to see where we are. Uh, we got a lot more work to do on the base, but I want to, you know, I, I've mentioned this before, I don't want to do like a bunch of back-to-back -back building episodes, you know, so... A lot of stuff that, you know, I, I'll probably still need to do off camera. Where's that enemy at? Um, and remember, too, uh, that because it... Oh, there he is. Because it's the holidays, um, with stuff going on, you know, with that, I not, may not... And almost certainly will not be able to release a video every day, but I'll, you know, I'll definitely, you know, keep them coming as uh, as often as I can. Okay. Whoa. Goodness gracious. Let's go loot this, and then I'll let you go. Okay, we got a couple processor matrix thingamadoodles. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.